I'm going to bring in some song. Nice deep breaths. Come back into awareness. And you can keep yourself in this state. Let yourself be here. Or you can bring yourself into more awareness. This is your choice. Okay. Yes. Yes. And there is a show, is there not? And there are spectators here. Yes. So welcome to the show. Show. <laughs> 
And so here you are. Yes, we see you very clearly. Yes, thanks for being here. So, aha. And so you have gathered in this room. Yes, yes, aha. You have gathered here today to be specific in your request. Yes, to be specific and directed in your energetic request for more understanding. Yes, more understanding. Yes, more understanding, more comprehensive understanding of who we are. Yes, let's get together and have a conversation about it. Yes, who are we? Let's discuss this. This is quite fascinating. Who are we? Tell us who we are. Yes. Mm -hmm. So here we are to tell you who you are. Yes. So welcome back to remembering this. Yes. For within you, you keep you keep a record of this. Yes, you have knowledge of this. Yes, and so let us redirect you to the records that you have kept. Yes, aha, a conjoined effort. Yes, of remembering. Yes, a And so we have gathered here to present you with an opportunity. Yes, an opportunity and letting go of the resistance to remembering who you are. <laughs> this is a beautiful return. Yes, this is a beautiful story. This is captivating. Yes, super hot. And we are captivated by you. And those of you who have forgotten, yes, are returning to remembering currently. Yes, so let us be in gratitude for your process of self discovery. Yes, lest you be in gratitude for your process of self-discovery. Yes, can you be in gratitude for this? Yes, can you place yourself, yes, in a prism of, of self-acceptance? Yes, can you place yourself in a place, in a, a welcome state of self-acceptance? Yes, this not only will raise your vibration, yes, but this will allow you to receive all you need to know. Yes, this will increase your reception. Yes, if you can use the and, and the the energetic yikya aha, if you can use the finite expression of energy, if you can become an energetic master who is clearly aware that mm -hmm. allowance, acceptance, and the ability to embrace all aspects of self not only increase your vibration, yes, but help you raise your vibration to 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 a divine place and state in which you are receptive instead of contracted. Yes, and if you are contracted, yes, in other words, if you are contracted, it is not easy to remember for you are in denial of the very thing that you are. Yes, you are separate from the light of all that is. So let us learn how to use thoughts and feelings. Let us become conscious and aware of our thoughts and our resistance and where we gravitate to and where we gravitate away from. So in this way, we are finite creatures. Yes, we have raised ourselves to an energetic evolution in which we learn how to direct energy and create our lives. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yes, you are capable of this. Yes. And so you have blinded yourself to the reality of this. Yes. And so you have become so caught up in the illusion that you are letting the illusion tell you who you are. Yes, you have been so caught up in the lie that you are now believing the lie that was told to you. And so you say, what is this lie you speak of, Obama? The lie you were told that tells you that you are not enough. The lie that you were told that tells you you need to be more than that which you are. Yes, and ha. The lie that you were told that gives you happiness outside of yourself. The lie that you were told that keeps you from becoming a pure vessel of light. That remembers how to do these things. That remembers how to work with energy. Yes. And so in this way, you are not chukwaha relearning. You are unlearning. You are unlearning. So can you not feel the light that surrounds you, that is guiding you to this process? Can you not concentrate on this energetic return to center, to embrace all that which is given to you? So let it embrace you. Let it embrace you. By your circumstance alone, you believe that you must move the heaven and earth, unless the sun would not rise. If I did not do what I need to do, the sun would not rise. Yes? You believe that you are in control of everything. Yes? 
오 과하 히키와 아이씨 까먹었어 까딱딱 해주셨겠다 Can you give rise? Yes, that there is an innate opportunity for rebirth and death that has nothing to do with your action or non-action. Yes, there is an opportunity for life amongst all your sorrows and all your obstacles and all your resistance. There is opportunity for growth in all of it. Yes, and if you can clean your spectacles just enough to see a glimmer of this, you have instantly raised your vibration. You see, you believe that you must be perfect in order to solve your problems. In other words, your problems will become solved when you are a better person. Your problems will become solved when you are perfect. Yes, all will be taken care of if you could just figure this out. Yes. In other words, you are working from behind, yes? So it is unlearning this principle of having to become something in order to become something else, yes? Instead, invest in the opportunity to investigate and have a regular investigation of the perfection that is already gifted, of the love that is already gifted, that lies in your internal operation, that is part of your system of operation, merely your divine right of being a human, Yes, but being an embodiment, a physical embodiment of divine. In other words, that's what you are. Yes, a physical embodiment of divine. Yes. A divine being having a physical experience. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Shukwaha. And so, if this is true, yes, you see yourself differently, do you not? You begin to see your struggles as opportunities for returning to the truth of your divinity. Yeah? You begin to see your struggles as opportunities to returning to your divinity. Yes, like the sound of that? Is Shukutsa aha? Yes, we thought you might. If you can gaze upon your resistance and gaze upon that within you that fights so hard for the light, you can gaze upon a revolution, an evolution in self in which you are no longer struggling, but you are enjoying that which is being offered. Yes? In other words, yes, the parts of you that resist the light so much are the parts indeed that are invested in the return to that light. Yes? For darkness serves a purpose, does it not? Yes? 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 yes. In other words, there are parts of you that long for your assistance, long for your resistance, long for your kiaha ability to embrace the resistance within. Assist that which in you is ready to resist. Yes, assist that which you ready to resist. Yes, look at this. Yes, look at these moments of, of resistance. Yes, when you are pulling away the hardest, perhaps this is where your attention is needed the most. Yes, and this is why you are having experience of resistance. Yes, in other words, the internal operation, yes, of universal guidance that runs its course through your innate system, Yes, of balances, yes. Within you, you have an innate system of checks and balances, yes. Within you is a, is a self-operating intelligent universe. Yes. Within you is a self-operating intelligent universe that is always seeking harmony, that is always seeking balance, that is always seeking a return to the light and a return to the truth of who you are. So, yes, the means by which there will be return, the means by which you will return to the light within, yes, is through darkness, yes, is through resistance, yes, is through unhealed, unnavigated, <coughs> uncharted territory, yes. This is how the light defines itself, yes. This is gifted to you by Creator. Hmm? Yes, yes, yes. And so you are saying, oh, yes, great news. Yes, the darkness was created for me. Wonderful. Thanks a lot. Mm, yes. Mm. <laughs> and so we are saying, yes, this is an intelligent system. Yes, one which operates is an intelligent way. Yes, one cannot function without the other. Although somewhere along the line, yes, somebody believed Yes, that there was a flaw in darkness. Yes. And so somewhere along the line, you were told that there was something wrong with you. 
Yes, and so we believe it is quite necessary for you to use the highest vibration of all to counteract that which you must unlearn. And this, dear ones, is love. Yes. This, dear ones, is the opposite of separation. It is embracing connection. So, when the darker parts of self wish to retreat out of fear and resistance, you will counteract this movement with the movement of connection. You will counteract the movement of separation with the movement of connection. Yes. This is your greatest healer and your greatest teacher. When you are experiencing resistance, yes, you will use the light of love, acceptance, and allowance to increase your vibration. Yes. And this will help you gain awareness into what areas of self need your attention. Most of you, yes, have been taught to believe that when there is resistance, yes, there is a strategy to employ, yes, there must be a solution in which you must conquer this resistance, yes, unless you would search, search, seek, and destroy that which in you is resisting, yes, ready to fight, yes, with guns armed, yes, ready to seek and destroy, mm -hmm. Ah, where has that gotten you? Shikwa mm -hmm. aha, nowhere fast. Mm -hmm. So, as you seek to destroy, yes, this resistance gains momentum within you, does it not? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, in other words, what you need to do, yes, is become kia aha, counterbalanced in your attack. Yes. Yes. Can you do this? This is not an easy task, to embrace parts of self, yes, the shikwaha, ones that you deem unworthy, yet again with love, yet again with acceptance. So in this way, you become, yes, mastered in how to use vibration and movement, it's no longer tethered to understanding and computing and having to kiaha, have a plan for action, yes, the simple action of embracing high vibration thoughts and feelings will create an opening, yes, that will then allow you to operate from a different method of creation in which you are highly vibrating and when you are more aware, yes. When you are operating from resistance and operating from fear, yes, you are not in a state of allowance. Yes. And you cannot kyaha evolve. Yes. For you are operating on the wheel of fear, yes, that keeps you entangled in the illusion. It keeps you entangled in the illusion. The best way to set yourself free from this cycle of fear and the wheel of illusion is to again counteract this with acceptance, allowance, and the light of love. And how do we do this yet again is your question by raising your awareness to places in which you can relate allowance and love to in your own kiaha environment, yes? It is easy to imagine and call to picture those of you who, who work with energies, those of you who work with those of you who connect to others, yes? You know that feeling of love. You know that feeling of acceptance. You have felt it before. Hmm? So let it not work for you and assist you. And if you are carrying, yes, a very heavy load, perhaps it is time to put it down! Put it down! Yes, it's shukwaha. Who told you you had to carry it? Yes, it's shukwaha. Are you doing anyone any favors by carrying this heavy load? Put it down! Shukwaha. The only hero you need to be is a hero for yourself. Yes? 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 
Yes. And so if you are carrying the burden and the load for another, yes, you are not only doing yourself a disservice, you are doing another a disservice. Because you are dis disconnecting them from their lesson. You are enabling them. You are doing a disservice for their own growth. Yes. You are dis disturbing yourself. Yes. Save yourself yes. from the headache of having to carry the load of responsibility. Yes. You are not wrong for doing this. Perhaps this message is for someone in particular. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> this idea, yes, that I must be the one. Because I am most able and fit to carry this heavy burden. I must be the one. Yes? And so we have spoken of this, yes, the shukwa ha, swukwa ha, the kishuwa ha, leki the humo usuma umaha, aha eishi kumaha. One who is gifted with awareness knows the yiki aha boundaries of energetic yiki wo responsibility. And so when you begin to understand your own energetic evolution, yes, you understand the boundaries that you have with another's energetic evolution. Yes. Where my life begins and your life ends. Where your life ends and mine begins. Yes. And if we are too enmeshed and entangled in each other's energy, yes, we do not have a clear picture of our energetic responsibility. So then Yes, your task becomes energetic discernment and boundary, yes, as well as knowing when to push on and when to let go, as well as knowing when to let go, as well as knowing when to let go, as well as knowing when to let go. This <laughs> Yes, leading on to this idea of letting go. And so, have we not drilled it into your head? Yes, or hit you over the head enough times with this hammer? Yes, within you, yes, there is an innate operation. Yes, there is an energetic function for letting go. There is an energy that can assist you, that knows perfectly well when to let go. Yes. And so you are thinking, I have to know when to let go, I have to know, I have to know, I have to know when to let go, I have to know, I have to know, I have to see, I have to understand, when am I supposed to let go, how am I supposed to let go, when, 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 tell me, tell me, tell me. Not all things need to be told to you to be understood by you. Not all things need to be told to you to be understood by you. Did you not know yes, that there is a silent language in which the universe speaks to you? Did you not know that energy has a language all on its own? Did you not know that the system of light within you operates through your heart center, not your mind center? In fact, yes, this is what will open you up to spiritual communication, yes? The more you try to understand how, the further you connect it, you are. Is this not true? Yes. And so, is there room for balance? Is there room for blending the two? Yes. But you must be willing to let go of what no longer serves you. Yes, you were designed to do this. And if you cannot, you have created imbalance in the body. <coughs> and we all know how this manifests, do we not? Sukru aha. And yes, many of you have come with a mission and a purpose, have you not? Many of you have come with a mission and a purpose to dispel the truth that you have been taught. Yes? for generation upon generation of your unworthiness. Many have come to experience unworthiness, to again break the chain in the cycle of separation. So if you are currently experiencing unworthiness, if you are currently experiencing resistance, if you are currently experiencing struggle, if you are currently experiencing suffering, yes, holding on too tightly to something that fulfills you, 
Yes, you are now learning where true fulfillment <clears throat> comes from. Yes. 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 Can you not see this clearly? And so, if your fulfillment is no longer given, yes, by an external source that was creating this fulfillment for you, you have an opportunity to rediscover a newer source of fulfillment that has no end, that will never disappoint you, that will always fulfill you. Yes. And so, what are we speaking of? Are we talking about chocolate ice cream? No! Are we talking about a lover? No. Are we talking about a car? No. Are we talking about a present? No. We are talking about the greatest gift that you can give yourself. <coughs> the one of acceptance. The one of self-love. Embracing yourself in times of challenge, resistance, and struggle is the greatest gift the greatest opportunity you can give yourself. And this is a gift that never stops giving. Yes. And so if your object of your Ishikwaha fulfillment, the object of your desires outside of yourself, it will always be disappointing, will it not? Because it will always be temporary, will it not? And so you will always be striving and reaching to aim something that will never be full. And so this will always lead to suffering. Yeah? And so if you can redirect your attention to the places within that long for your love, such as resistance, yes, you have gained momentum and seen yourself clearer and gained the good feeling of flow and attraction and balance. And you need worry less about how to manifest and you need worry less about how to become abundant and you need worry less about how to be something for as you are vibrating in acceptance and love, all of these things will be brought to you. For you will be <clears throat> vibrating in the place that allows them to come to you. You see how this works? Yes? Yes. And so part of this, yes, is the idea of like attracts like that has been introduced and brought forward as the law of attraction. But another component that presents itself is the component that ties you to the honest, unconditional love of self. And if that is absent, yes, your manifestations will merely bring you back to a place of self-love. And so the more you resist this, yes, the more you are creating opportunity and experience for self-love. And so this can be disguised as rejection, yes? And this can be disguised as abandonment, yes? And this can be disguised as betrayal, yes? And all of these things are an opportunity and a gift, yes? For if someone is betraying you, <coughs> abandoning you, rejecting you, are you not learning how to love yourself in that moment? If someone is telling you you are not good enough, are you not learning to embrace and reflect and look in the mirror and say, Oh yes, I'm good enough! Are you not motivated? Yes? Aha! Mm. Yes, again, we have brought forward this theme. Yes, again, to help you gaze in the mirror of self-reflection, of what you are being gifted with. And so in this way, your ultimate learning and your guide becomes your relationships becomes your experience. And so if you can manifest from a place of self-love, yes, the higher you vibrate, the more you are attracting all the good things that are indeed waiting for you. Yes. I have tried your theory, Amana, and it does not work. I have tried your theory, and it does not work. That is not real life. That is not real life. Hmm? Yes? Sound familiar? And so we would usher you into a place of self-acceptance. Yes. Does it not feel good to accept yourself? Bottom line. Yes. And if you are feeling good about yourself, have you not noticed that the world of opportunity <clears throat> knocks on your door a lot louder? Yes. And when you are not feeling good about yourself, have you not noticed that people get on your nerves a lot quicker? Yes. And then again, you can see an inward reflectioning happening here. And which indeed, yes, it is all about you. Always has been, always will be. And it is not from a place of selfishness, yes, or self-centeredness. It is from a place, yes, of center self. And if you can begin to see that the world revolves around your peace of mind, and the world revolves around your relationship to yourself, you can then begin to see a connection between that relationship and the relationship with source, universe, and creator. Yeah. And so indeed, dear ones, it is all about loving yourself. Indeed, 
This is primary and forefront into embracing all obstacle and all resistance. Yes, yes, yes.